General conclusions, January barometer, it looks like the market wants to move higher through the year. Insanely volatile, up and down like a you know what. You know, you listen to Larry Williams, he says that usually the first half of US presidential election years kind of go sideways. And then once sort of the market figure out, uh, you know, is the election going to happen? Do we have a pretty good idea who's going to win? I mean, ironically enough, I don't even think it really matters for the American capitalist who specifically wins, whether it is Trump or Biden. I think probably the most important thing is that they want to have a split government. The January barometer, what an odd looking image. I think on balance, 2024 is going to be an up year, but uh, man, it's, I think it's going to be pretty damn volatile. You know, does this sort of look like what the beginning of the year should look like? And if that's the case, I mean, look how we're coming out of January today being the last day of January here. Uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, oh, I guess this is a four hour chart, right? So I mean, we're gapping lower. Uh, does that mean that, you know, February, March, we're going to have a bit of a swoon here? I don't know. But I'll tell you, it doesn't look very healthy, is to be honest with you, especially with these big gaps that need filling. We might actually have to see a bit of pullback here, uh, you know, for them to clean all this up following this Fed. You know, there is an expression in the market that if they rally the market into the Fed, then you should better be uh, worried about what's going to happen the other side. The fact that they've gapped the market so violently lower here on the actual Fed day, I mean, it really has me scratching my head. I mean, general conclusions, January barometer, it looks like the market wants to move higher through the year. A insanely volatile up and down like a you know what you know you listen to J larry williams he says that usually the first half of u.s presidential election years kind of go sideways and then once sort of the market figure out uh, you know is the election going to happen do we have a pretty good idea who's going to win i mean ironically enough i don't even think it really matters for the american capitalists who specifically wins whether it is trump or biden I think probably the most important thing is that they want to have a split government. You know, you either have the right wing win the executive and the left wing control the Congress. That would be sort of like typical Ronald Reagan type uh, presidency. Eh, we all know what happened in the Reagan years. Or you have something like a left wing controlled executive and a right wing controlled, you know, legislature, Congress. And that would be like, uh, I think, Bill Clinton and blowjobs in the White House uh, day. Both environments, stock market actually does pretty well. Stock market absolutely hates when one party is in control of the entire government because then the politicians can actually start screwing around with laws and, and changing the rules and taxes and all that. And, you know, I hate to say it, but you look at what's happened uh, in my country as a pretty good example. You know, what has the Canadian stock market done while this guy has been uh, sitting there, you know, just a one party rule. If we look at, uh, say, the weekly price chart, you could make the argument that the Canadian stock market has basically done nothing for like uh, three years. It's just gone sideways. I mean, is that a bull flag and getting ready to rock and roll? Could be. But to all intents and purposes, stock market in Canada has done nothing. You know, if anything, what I'm kind of seeing here with the S&P, the way that it's looking is um, it's anticipating that there will be a split government. And basically, we are now into uh, the next decade. Usually you don't find that recessions and stuff happen middle of decades. Usually, and you know, I always teach all the, the students at the site, you know, think uh, recessions usually happen in years that end in like eight, eights, nine, zeros, ones, and twos. And of course we had that insane stupidity all around the sickness and the massive engineered bailout there in 2020. And of course the, the insanity of the sickness world. Hopefully we're beyond that, but uh, who knows? So I, I would expect in January, barometer sort of telling us that you know probably on balance 2024 is going to be a relatively good year it looks like to me though it's going to be choppier than hell so just be forewarned everyone <laughs>